Hey guys, today we'll shoot the VOR approach into Melbourne Airport. In this approach, the VOR is located at the airport. We are currently heading over the airport so we could fly the outbound leg and start the approach. You don't need a DME for this approach, but we do have one with G1000 helping us. If we open the plate for the VOR runway 9 right approach, we can see that the VOR frequency is 115.85. Final approach course is 089, and we have 10,000 feet of runway available. Nothing is relevant to us in the note section, and the runway has the Malzar approach lighting system. As we look on the lateral graphical information, the approach begins over the Melbourne VOR, and we're going to fly the outbound leg on the 269 radial. The procedure turn is going to set us back into the final approach segment. How do we know when to initiate the procedure turn? If we go down into the vertical information, we can see that we need to remain within 10 miles of the VOR at or above 1600. The rule of thumb in the Cessna is about a 3 minute outbound leg, so even if our ground speed is fast, say 120 knots, we'll cover no more than 6 miles on the outbound leg before initiating the procedure turn, and thus remaining within the 10 miles from the VOR. Looking at the vertical layout of the approach, we need to maintain at or above 1600 until we are established on the 089 radial inbound. Once we are, we can descend to the minimums, which are 560 feet and 2400 feet of visibility. Our missed approach point is going to be the VOR. The missed approach procedure will have us climb straight ahead to 1000 feet, followed by a left turn to the Melbourne VOR, climbing to 2100 feet and holding there. Setting the plane for the approach requires tuning in the VOR frequency, setting the course on the appropriate radial, inserting the minimums and having the timer ready for the outbound leg. As we cross the VOR station, we're going to turn right heading 269 on the outbound leg and start the timer. As we reach the 3 minute mark on the outbound leg, we are going to perform the procedure turn, which is basically a sequence of turns designed to align us with the final approach segment. We'll turn left heading 224, fly it for about 30 seconds, and then turn right heading 044 to intercept the 089 radial inbound to Melbourne. There is no final approach fix in this approach, as the final approach segment begins as soon as you are established on the inbound course to the VOR. As we establish on the inbound course, we can reduce power to 1700 rpm, flaps 10, 90 knots, and descend to the minimum's altitude of 560 feet. Once we'll reach it, if we don't see the runway we'll keep flying until the VOR flag flips, which tells us that we just passed the VOR and we need to initiate the missed approach procedure.
Once you're visual, reduce power, flaps 30 below 85 knots, and perform a normal visual landing. That was the VR approach when the station is located at the airport. See you guys next time.